Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to Graveyard Keeper. A few days after the last episode, uh, those of you who follow me on Twitter know that uh, I took took a, like a, a little bit of me time out. I didn't really anticipate that it would uh, interrupt my recordings quite as much as it did, but I went and uh, had a lovely meal with some friends in Glasgow, and uh, as a result, that this did disrupt my recording for a day. An unforeseen circumstance revolving around that, because basically I didn't batch record. On that day as a result yeah when you save and you come back i think i even learned this at one point and i forgot about it your, your effects don't get preserved to say that i'm a little bit vexed would be an enormous understatement but oh well we're just gonna move on we're not gonna we're not gonna linger over it too much uh have i done anything with the grapes i haven't replanted them yet okay but we've got a trade day very soon, and there isn't as much reason now for me to uh, worry about getting the books together because I'm not going to be able to do as good a job as I frankly hoped. And uh, it's extremely, extremely frustrating. But oh, uh, one thing that I have uh, considered at quite some length, I'll, I'll be honest, this was a really difficult choice for me to make, but uh, it was pointed out in the comments very recently. As much as I dislike um, spoilers, as much as I feel a very big part of a game is um, discovering things, someone did did make a, a very well-reasoned argument uh, in favour of using the wiki for alchemy specifically. They said, you know, much of the rest of the game makes sense. You can kind of work things out yourself. And specifically, they, they actually pointed out that it was really only the Alchemy Workbench 2 that they felt the wiki became more of a necessity than an, an optional um, thing to consider. And they pointed out exactly how much, how many uh, potential um, variances existed for the, if you wanted to just brute force something, or if you didn't have a, a significant indication. Uh, they went on to point out that uh, with some things, there, there are, uh, you know, parallels to the real world, but ultimately we're dealing with, with very much not real world things. So I, I couldn't really uh, hope that uh, any knowledge of chemistry would guide me in the right direction here. We're dealing with, with all kinds of different essences and, and the likes. Um, and they actually pointed out the just the raw number of combinations that were possible. Uh, not all of which, in fact, the vast majority of which don't lead to anything useful. And uh, yeah... Okay, all right. I, I, I'm, I'm not the sort of person who will just blindly follow something because they've made a decision. They're like, oh, I, my decision is right, or even if it's wrong, I don't care because I'm not the sort of person who backs down. No, 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 no. You, 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 you hit me with the, uh, with hashtag real talk, and I will reevaluate my situation. That is one of the benefits of being a human. We're capable of abstract logic. We're also capable of, uh, of seeing. Uh, well, moving sideways mentally, rather than just barreling down a, a, a specific path just because we started on it. Uh, one day, AIs will be able to do this too, and I, I will rejoice when that uh, when that happens. But for now, let's make use of our advantages before they're stripped away from us, and then we become the second-class citizen on our planet. It's, it's going to happen, so we better enjoy these good times while they're here. Uh, so, yes, I'm going to start using the wiki. Uh, at least in regards to uh, things on the Alchemy Workbench 2. There's just way too many potential... Um, even if someone told me exactly the three ingredients, and this is what really swung me, is if I was told exactly the three ingredients I needed, or, and this gets much worse if there is only two ingredients, and they're, they're in some combination, the amount of potential faffing around I would do per episode just trying to work out the correct order in which I needed like which one needs to be a powder which one needs to be an extract which one needs to be uh, a solution yeah that's not going to be fun for anyone and ultimately I'm hoping that these episodes are fun and entertaining to watch and hearing me go back and forth well I I've got a I've got a feeling that it's one of these combinations I just need to keep trying that the, however many hundred times I need to do it in order to get it to work yeah that that doesn't exactly make for the most riveting experience I'll be honest so uh, we are going to start using alchemy a little bit so the the main part that's probably going to affect things is in um in embalming 
So it seems embalming is primarily a workshop to um, pursuit. So you know that's cool and all that. Now I'm gonna want some of the. I'm gonna want a lot of these. Uh, I'm also gonna want. Do I need any advanced mechanical parts? Uh, sorry, uh, advanced parts. I can't have any anyway. All right then. Can I break anything? Uh, no, I can't. I'm gonna have to go back to the mining camp. All right then. Uh, but for now, let's see. I need to get some trees because I need some lich, and then I need some planks. So, hello, gigantic tree. It is high time that you skedaddled, please and thank you. Wow, that only gave me three. Really? For a tree that big? Wow. Okay. Expectations not met. Decidedly not met, in fact. A little bit, little bit sad about that one. All right. So I'll pop these over there. Considering I've never really made use of this space, I might actually build another one just down here. I'm not going to need any kind of stone stockpile realistically over here, so I might just get rid of that and just go for, for only storing logs over here and, and having an extra log storage area just down there would expedite it when I'm bringing anything from the left side of my home back up here. So, uh, nope, there we are. Nice. All right, let's get some planks made because I want to sort out the mortuary quite a lot, actually. Let's get 24 flitch. There we go. But yes, it it, it was uh, it, it was a bit sad when when I grudgingly had to acknowledge it. Like, okay, then yeah, maybe I'm just being a bit stubborn on this one. But I I, I genuinely do much prefer to discover things for myself. And uh, there is a little part of me that's like, well, I'm I'm gonna lose that, and it's gonna be a little bit less fun for me. But you know what? I'm gonna if something becomes just a, a, a random you know, just combination things. Because apparently, I was told that many of the formulas that have been discovered on the wiki were discovered through brute force. There's, there's no real rhyme or reason in the game that tells you how to do it. Like, if you could discover recipes the way that we did with cookery, then I would doggedly pursue that, even if it cost significant amounts of wealth to buy all of the recipes. I would feel that that was a completely valid way of playing. But since it is just trial by error, uh, apparently, many of the uh, of the recipes were discovered just by botting, just letting the game run for several, several hours because that's how long it takes. If you can check, you know, several recipes um, a second to get it all, it's like, oh, okay, yeah, I'm not going to be doing that on camera. I'm not going to be doing that off camera. Frankly, I've got better things to do with my time. So uh, yes, it is a bit of a shame, but uh, honestly, I guess on this one, I'll I'll lay that the blame for that on the game. If you make a system where realistically the only way you're going to solve it is by brute forcing a solution, it's not exactly the most engaging system, I'll be honest. Uh, we've got a couple of sticks that I want to drop off, actually, before we do anything else. There we go. Right, off we go. You can expect, probably, to hear me kind of lament that point a little bit, or, or seem a little bit less enthusiastic about alchemy as a result, because there the, the, I enjoy exploration, and I think that's that's probably a uh, a factor of the wanderlust that's in me. I enjoy going new places. I enjoy discovering things for the first time myself. Uh, it's just a shame that I was born uh, kind of several centuries too late to really do that to any great degree. But oh well. Uh, right, let's go ahead now. Can I build the preparation place too? I can. Can I build an extra mortuary rack? Oh, I can't. But you know what? I'm not going to worry over much about that one right now. In fact, I might get enough flitch back to be able to do it, but I will need the beams. That's not something I'm going to be able to recover myself. There we go. Let's place this down then. Yoink. Preparation place two. You can live right about there. I think that would be grand. Uh, yeah, about there will do. Perfect. And we'll build another mortuary rack up there in time. For now, though, this is pretty awesome. I'm quite happy. Excellent. All right, off we go. I'm going to take back all of this, uh, these gubbins. In fact, I'm going to give Comrade Donkey a little bit more carrots. Let's take ten. Let's not be too excessive with that. There we are. Some carrots. And since I'm out this way, I may as well grab the uh, the logs that we've got hanging around. Do I have anything to place there? No. No, I don't. I'm going to need to go and get some more items for that then, aren't I? And then I'll take two out with me. 
Nope. How can I be so bad at this still? My goodness. Oh, there we are. Now, actually, before I go, what was involved in making the stone prayer altar? Hmm. Silver books. In that case, let's go and make those and we can bring them up. Uh, do I have enough to make the silver box? I do believe we, we have. I believe we have. Can I make... I can make two silver hardcovers. We've got a gold one. We'll be keeping that one until I can actually write a decent book. Uh, which is going to take a little bit of time, but that'll be fine. There we go. So let's pop all of those in there for now. Now I want to make a silver book specifically. So we should... Oops, wrong place. We should be able to do that. Oh, wait. It's... It's still counting? What? What the dickens? I approve! Oh, wait, no, that one still requires... Ah, well, okay, well... I was hoping that that would help there, but uh, I guess not. Wow, really? We have a... If I do that? Well, well, well. Okay. No, no, I'm... I'm... Oh my goodness! Ah, uh, That was another thing that, that kind of vexed me, is that, uh... I lacked the I lacked the the inspiration but apparently that is still there I've just lost the the effect when I when I wrapped up the the episode and uh, came back later and saw that there was nothing there I was very disappointed with that but wow it was just hidden from me all along well a little bit annoying but okay oh poop poop Let's try again. 70%. Come on, 70%. Come on, 70%. There we go. That's what I needed. All right, well, I guess you can live there and we can use you for something later on. But let's go up and... Oh, actually, Comrade Donkey will have dumped the corpse down here. So uh, we'll go and pop it on the freezer rack at the very least so it stops decaying. Uh, okay, so we've got a couple of things that we can do. A couple of things weren't quite as bad as I uh, first imagined. That's lovely. Go there. Should I actually check that body? Eh, not an amazing corpse, that one, but uh, also not a terrible one, I guess. All right, let's go and drop this silver book off. Maybe even build one of these prayer stations. How about that? How big is it? Eh, it's the same size. Let's go ahead and pop this one over there so we can see it. We can see what kind of prayer, uh, prayer station it becomes. So it's minus two right now. And that upgrades to plus four. No, plus six. Well, it gives us six because it's overcoming the minus two. Uh, but for all functional purposes, it's just given us four. Okay, well, that's a double on all of the flower plots and the uh, regular wooden prayer station. So I may as well make use of that. No particular reason not to. Uh, let's get you up top. Okay, so uh, things weren't quite as bad, but if I realised that, I would have made a, a bigger effort to get enough skin together for it. It's a shame about that one. Damn it, I wasn't paying attention. Nope, come on. There we are. Uh, can we perhaps go and get some bat wings out and about? We should be able to, actually. Let me drop off a number of items. Don't need to be taking these with... I should have left the... Uh, uh, should have left all sorts of things back in the mortuary. Okay, well, we got them here, so we may as well make use of them. Right, let's grab these. You can go there. And I need my sword and my armor. Right, off we go to hopefully get some bats. Right, if we can do that, then we might be able to even make use of this prayer while it's still active, though I burnt up so much time. <sighs> Vexing, to say the least. Oh, there's no bats here. It's a bit of a shame. Perhaps I should just go down into the uh, into the depths. That, or prepare some more wood pulp to, to make loads of paper. That would not be a particularly uh, bad option. We've got a fantastic amount of uh, of items. Yeah, we, we need some paper. So, simple iron parts, wooden planks, and some clean paper. That won't be too bad. Got some beeswax as well. A little bit of damage, but 
nothing we can't easily deal with. Right, okay then. Uh, let's go and grab a fair old bit of wheat. Let's drop, well, actually, there's no reason to drop any of this off. Thinking about it, we want to take it with us. Start topping up my energy levels. There we go. Keep this ever going. There we go. Alright, let's go and grab all of the wheat we've got. Oh, I put it inside the house, didn't I? That's right. Um, yeah, that's fine. We're going to need a lot more... Uh, a lot more fertilizer. Oops. I'll keep my sword and shield on me for now, because the next opportunity I get to, to grab um, some bat kills, I think we're going to have to. Let's take 100 of it. That'll do. Also going to need several buckets of water. Okay, not too bad then. All things considered. If we can get the paper together in time, then we'll go ahead and we'll produce a large amount of um, chapters whilst we've got this buff. But now I, I better understand it. We're not going to lose it straight away because I was planning on, on just using that buff next time anyway. Um, and then just making sure that I continued on with that, with that episode. Um, after I wrapped up that episode, just uh, continuing on with the next one straight away to make sure I could make use of it. All uh, right, where are we? Paper glop. Nope, not quite. Five of them will do. There we go. Get all of this together. With making the books and the chapters, we may, in fact, even get enough faith to unlock jewelry, at which point we could get the gold prey anyway. So, yeah, I might actually just aim for that rather than trying to use the faith on the next sermon. Let's see if we can't get to the next sermon and have the gold prayer ready. That would be fantastic. Absolutely marvellous, in fact. Let's drop that off for now. Uh, the honey doesn't actually need to be here. Why I brought that down there, I don't have any clue, but fair enough. Right, let's go and drop some things off. We've used up all of that wheat, which is actually... Quite a shame. Uh, I've got two packets. Uh, it's fine. All right, let's go and see. What do we need at the paper press? Uh, white paint. Damn it all. What a dip. Uh, we'll drop off the wood glove there then. Now, do I have enough beams? I do. Uh, what else was it that I needed? Was it just nails? It may have been. We'll grab these as well. We'll see what we can do. That might be enough. Uh, if we're going to be making... Uh, let's not take all of that. Let's just take two. If we're going to be making alchemical components, we are definitely going to want to have a fair old bit of... I uh, can't make any of those. That's a bit of a shame. Uh, we're going to want to have a, a fair amount of... We can make these... Gold and silver with us to make the gold and silver solution. Sorry, my brain was uh, completely distracted there, as often it is. There's too many things going on in my brain at the moment. Right. So, we are going to need, unfortunately, the white paint, which was just left down here. Because I'm a derp. There we are. That'll do. Right. Be right back. Actually, on the way, we'll go and set up the mortuary stuff. I'm going to just accept that we've probably already wasted the, uh, the potential of getting the um, the chapters done properly. But that's fine. So, as a result, I'm just going to do the odd sorts of things around the place. And since I'm going to the mortuary anyway, that'll take care of that. I'm actually getting quite a, a number of this. Really? Now it's popped up? Oh, that's so confusing. What governs whether that'll show up or not? I have no idea. But we've still got 13 minutes. Okay. Not bad. I must confess, I forget how long the uh, the effect was going to last in the last episode. I didn't pay enough attention to it. My bad. Right, let's pop you there. Uh, okay, corpses. All right, can we build another mortuary rack? Oh, the flitch. Of course. I remember there were three things that I needed. Not the three things that they were. Not exactly useful, I know, but oh well. So I need to go and grab some flitch. And on the way back then, oh, damn it, I can take the paper with me. 
Okay, not bad. Actually, this might work out well. There we are. In fact, let's make a little bit of extra flitch just in case. There we go. I'm also going to pop in, have a very quick snooze, actually, just to get rid of the debuff. Grab the cakes, ready for the merchant, since the merchant does seem to be able to buy a near enough limitless amount of cakes. They don't seem to lose any value, which is actually quite nice. Uh, is there anything I want to drop off here? I don't... Well, you know what? I'm going to leave the... Well, I'll take the water out and we'll use it and then drop that off. There we go. That way I can make some more dough in time. There we are. Alright, let's go and make all of this paper, please. Uh, we can only make uh, 60, but that's more than enough for us to get a good number of chapters out of this buff while we've still got it. Alright, there we are. Very nice indeed. Uh, was there anything else I wanted to drop off? Not really. I, I think I'll be happy to carry the rest of this around. I'll leave the, the white paint here, though. I think that'll be useful. We'll also get Comrade Donkey to bring us two more corpses. Now we've actually got the, the freezer pallets. I can safely have Comrade Donkey deliver quite a few corpses and then pick the best of the bunch for what we want to do with them. It's actually pretty cool. Let's get you going. Yeah. And in we go. Right. First and foremost, let's get to the mortuary rack. And we'll just pop this one over there. This one will be for... Well, honestly, it's going to have some of my burgers in it, if nothing else. There we are. Going to need a fair recharge on the old energy bar here. There we go. Drop that off. Perfect. Do I want to segregate these in any way? Well, one of these is definitely going to have to be for... You know what? Let's grab a couple of these. We'll break them down. Just to clear up some space. But uh, one of them is definitely going to have to be for, uh, for um, anything we're going to be using for embalming. Sure. Let's break these down. What do we get from this? We get plenty of life solution. We're never going to run out of life solution. The one thing that we're always going to have, if only it was more useful. Or at least if only if I knew more things that I could do with it. In fact, on that note, perhaps it would have been wise for me to... Uh, Bring up the wiki page before I even started recording. Yeah, that probably would have been a clever, clever move. Thinking about it. Uh, right, okay, so let's drop off the paper and get to chapter writing while we have the time. So, notes. Let's... Honestly, that's amazing. 80%. Just, just make lots of them. All of them forever. There they are. In fact, yep, just keep going. As many as we can get. There we go, and we should... Should we just go through these ones as well? Yeah, sure. Because we'll end up with a decent amount of silver ones, I should imagine. Or not, doesn't really matter. As long as we can get up to 150, then we can go grab jewellery and then make the book. Oh, this is turning out to be quite an awesome day. Ah, it went from bad to good very quickly. See? You've just got to be positive. You make your own luck. And part of that is just not being discouraged. You don't actually have any effect on the uh, on on any kind of metadimensional energy that's running underneath the, the material world. You're not actually forging luck. Or at least I very much doubt you are. Maybe you are. Who am I to say you aren't? But all I'm saying is just don't get discouraged. It's very easy to stop doing something when things start going wrong. You know what? You'll always fail if you stop working. Well, the only thing you'll succeed at is not doing work. But uh, you get where I'm going with this, okay? You have no chance of succeeding at a task that you don't even try. Um, whereas, uh, I, I don't know, sometimes I think people ascribe a little bit too much to luck, though. And they say, oh, well, that person's just lucky. Things always go right for them. No, you just don't hear about the times that it went wrong. It probably went wrong actually a lot more times than it goes wrong for you because they try more and by trying more you're going to expose yourself to failure significantly more it, 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 that's just the way it works if you roll the dice more times then and you, you're still only hoping for the six then you are just through sheer force of numbers going to roll not six more often than the person who only rolls the dice once yes you'll get six more often than they did as well 
But, you know, you're paying for that with the weight of failure that you're having to endure without letting your spirits dec decline. That's that's just my take on it anyway. Who knows? I'm probably, probably uh, completely mad. Nevertheless, things do seem to go right for me. Enough of the time that I don't... I try not to let myself get too discouraged. See, I've even forgotten about the fact that I've resorted to using the wiki for alchemy. Ugh, though I've just reminded myself. Ah, it's fine. It's fine. I'm going to do it and I'm going to make progress in the game. And it'll be great when I'm embalming corpses and making amazing corpses all the time. No. Ah, no. I've run out of ink. Right. Right. Diamond Blast. Do I have any quills? Uh, let's see. Do I have... Yes, I've got plenty. Okay. I would like... Oh, okay. I'm just going to make three new ink wells. That's fine. Man, I can only imagine what I'm writing right now, though. Because I am probably drunk as a skunk at the moment. My goodness. Uh, right, let's keep going. It's rather silly saying when you think about it. The skunk's often known for being drunk. Is, is there some hidden meaning in that phrase that I'm not aware of? Because the literal meaning makes very little sense to me. Unless, around the time that uh, that, fra that saying came to prominence, Someone was just going around, getting all of the local skunks fantastically drunk. They were just leaving out little little skunk watering bowls full of absinthe. And and then it just kind of stuck as the, the rest of the townsfolk noticed that skunks were impossibly inebriated almost all of the time. They never found out why. Hmm. Is that a form of animal cruelty or, or, or kind of a, a pleasant thing? I don't know. The skunks have such terrible lives that they need to be drunk to forget about their problems. Oh. Uh, right, we've got 210 faith just from writing chapters. This is amazing. We're going to be able to make that uh, gold star uh, prayer. I'm extremely pleased by that. Oh, that's a good body. That's not even going to need much work. Ooh, should we try embalming on that body or just just say look okay you're already perfect let me just just no let's not let's not waste this opportunity by trying to be experimental i i think we probably want want to go with that direction yes there we are 80 percent of a gold chapter here let's keep going uh sorry gold notes if we can get gold chapters oh my lord that'll be good we've got five minutes still it's turning out to be quite the uh, worthwhile endeavor. I wasn't really sure about making a whole prayer and then wasting an entire week for this, but considering we're getting this much done with just the tail end of the prayer, because I think it might have been like 30 minutes or something, somewhere in that region, that we would have had the effect for. If you prepared for it properly, like I'm going to run out of paper, but well, no, I still have a little bit of paper left. But uh, if you prepared for it properly, you could seriously make some... some uh, Good progress with with all of this. You probably wouldn't have to do it more than once or maybe twice. And you'd have all of the chapters and, and notes that you could ever, ever ever make use of. Right, once this last four are done... I, have we got any gold... Gold uh, stories? I don't think we do. So I think once this is done, we'll move on to chapters. But I will pop up. Just to have a quick look in the church, see if anyone wants to confess. May as well, while I've got the buff running. Because I would rather not have to use it again, because I'm just not going to be able to make use of it again. Wow. We've got 18 gold chapters. Uh, gold notes. I keep saying chapters, I mean notes. Nope, no one wants to confess this since they know what I'm going to do with them. Wise. Very wise. Uh, on, the, on the other hand, though, you're missing out on an opportunity to have your story turned into something beautiful. Um, sure, I'm I'm going to do it like that, because that gives me a good chance of some very high-level chapters. Uh, once again, there we are. 70% chance of gold using only one gold, one silver, and one copper note. Pretty good for me, I think. Let's go. Let's keep going. We're going to get silver chapters out of all of these, at the very least. That we are using up a lot of my energy to get all of this done. <laughs> yeah, I'm fairly certain we would be dead if we drunk that much wine in this much in this smaller space of time. Pretty certain the death is the only potential outcome. Either that, or we are going to be weeing for the next several years. 
one or the other. Alright, there we go. Now then, with all of the silver, do I want to guarantee gold? Do I need to? I don't think so. Let's just go for the all silvers while we can. Once again, I wish it would remember. That would be very, very useful. There we go. Making very quick progress through all of these now, though. Um, actually, I am going to use some of the gold because I don't want to have to waste lots of gold chapters on uh, having a, an absolute guarantee of getting a, a gold... Um, Sorry, gold notes on getting a gold chapter out of it. Whereas with the buff right now, that would just be a waste. If I was using three gold chapters, uh, gold notes, I would guarantee get the gold chapter. But two of them would have guaranteed it for me. So let's uh, try and make the better use of our resources while we can. We're almost done. I know this has been a little bit torturous in the end. It did take me quite a while to work through all of this, but still. I think it was worth it. Right, there we are. And let's get these done. Donk. Can I actually force it to do it even with just two? No. No, I can't. Oh well, that's fine. Let's pop these down here then. That was quite amazing. We've got 14 gold chapters. My good lord. Wait, wait, wait. We need to use some of this fantastic amount of uh, blue skill points. There we go. Unlock jeweler. Scent of gold. Uh, no. Let's not go for that one. Do we have something in here? Jewelry even better. Yes. Let's unlock that one as well. We could, in fact, unlock these and get the, a super sword if we really wanted to. Uh, could unlock this, which is something we need to unlock, I think. Um, that being said, wouldn't mind saving up for some of these now. Uh, though, getting the embalming solutions would be very useful as well. In fact, with that, I could go for these, which will be absolutely amazing. Okay. Yeah. Very nice. Right. Let's get ourselves a really, really good book. Wow, 90% just with that. Well, we got to use them on something, so we might as well have a guaranteed success chance. There we are. Oh my goodness, that was a lot of faith. If only I had more of them. Uh, you know what, I'm going to go and grab the, uh, the books from up top. I'm not sure if this is having any effect on the books, but it might be. At the very least, I should be able to get silver books out of it. All right, so let's take you. You're coming with. All right, let's go and get that sorted. Maybe I'll get a silver book out of it, in which case I can use that to make another prayer station, which I would be completely okay with. But if we're very lucky, we might be able to turn it into, yeah. Got a 90% chance of getting a, uh, oh. Ah, uh, wait. No, I haven't made it into a book yet. Why have I not? Wait a second. Did I pick them up? Mm, yes, I did. Oh, they are already books. Uh, running before I could walk there. Oh, well. Uh, we can have a prayer for repose. Better deceased. Prayer for imagination. Prayer for excellence. New. We all know what we're going for. Co gold combo prayer, please. And indeed, thank you. There we are. I guess I will... I'll leave these books here for now. We'll, I'm sure we'll find something to do with them eventually. Let's uh, leave those there. Okay. Alright. We no longer want this combo prey. Absolutely don't want it. We don't want it even anywhere near where I might accidentally pick it up. Thinking it's a different one. That would just make me angry. Let's go ahead and pop that over here. There we are. We can sell that. As soon as we have the means to. All right, not bad at all. Uh, no, we don't have the the means yet to make anything particularly nice. I would love the marble flagstones though. I guess we could make this. It does give me more. 
Do I want anything else? Um, I kind of like the idea of having the lanterns in these sort of areas illuminating these. I don't know, though. We'll see. Uh, I think I am, however, going to be getting rid of this for now. We'll have the, the pattern matching across there. At the very least, that'll look nice, I think. Well, let's just get rid of this, and then we've got to go and take care of the corpse. Thank you. Another book back. There we are. Lovely. All right, let's go and take care of that corpse while we can. I may as well move this a little bit closer to the house as well. Right, Comrade Donkey has brought all of the corpses that Comrade Donkey is going to bring. Marvellous. And let's have a look at these corpses. Both of them very nice corpses, actually. Oh, I really want to see if we can make something amazing using alchemy here. And uh, get some really, really good embalming stuff. But first, let me uh, drop off. Anything we don't really need to be carting around with us anymore, which is actually quite a lot of things. My inventory is full of just random bric-a-brac that I have no place carrying around. Uh, the silver powder and the gold powder probably don't belong there, but uh, we'll leave it there for now. Anything else over here that I particularly want to take? Someone did suggest I have a look at the glass again. Uh, so let's quickly check that out while I'm here. So... Is there anywhere I can put it? It's a it's a two by three. I can't place it over here yet. But that would probably be where they go. I'm gonna say. That seems like the most likely location for them to go. Can I put any more candelabras around? No. Can I build anything else around here? There's these down there, but they look like they're really only going to be used for incense. Um, the wooden shrine, yeah, that's too big. So, it's going to be incense at those locations. That's fine for now. Right, so, with that, we'll drop off the glass, we'll drop off... In fact, we'll drop off a couple of things, because we will make use of them in time, I, sh I suspect. Uh, actually, I'll take the... what can I take? The salt, perhaps? Or I could just grind down some more items here. Let's leave the jewellery, though, because that is definitely going to be something we want to leave. We want to have here, rather. Uh, is there anything I can make around here? Let's have a look. We need more beeswax to be able to make candles. Got enough hemp. Uh, we need dark elixir, water, conical flask. We've got quite a lot of these things. Alkali to make the lye injection. Glue is definitely something we want. Silver and gold injections are particularly useful as well. We need silver elixir and gold elixir. Now, silver elixir, I believe, is silver powder, order, and life extract. I recall. Might have... Ooh, is it life solution? Uh, we'll go with what I said first. I'll trust my instincts, and we'll, we'll see how this, this works out. Is this going to give me silver solution? And we'll see. Yes! Perfect. And then gold solution, I... Th oh, I don't remember. No, I, I don't recall, unfortunately. Gold solution, I'm fairly certain it's different to silver solution, but I don't remember how it's different. So I'll just make more and more silver solution. There we go. We might be able to get these absolutely beautiful bodies up in the, the graveyard very soon. The nice thing about this is I can work on the bodies in waves. Like, if I get the materials together to work on them, then I can just um, produce them uh, and pop them back on the freezer until I've got the, the next materials that are the next phase of their embalming. Now, if I call correctly silver solution oh my goodness i've gone through all of my wine my goodness how am i still alive but if we have a look silver solution takes one red skull away and adds one white 
That is very nice. Uh, glue just adds one white. Uh, that adds one of each. That takes one of each away. A uh, lie injection. Alkali requires... Uh, it's blood and life. Death, I think. Uh, I'm gonna need blood here anyway. Let me go and grab some blood. I know, I know. It's time for me to go and deal with stuff. But come on, let me let me just do some cool stuff first. But I'm gonna have to. I think I'll have to uh, find some sort of alchemical cheat sheet for the uh, the uh, alchemy two workbench. If you have that up my second monitor or something like that. At least until I, I learn the, the process. Is that right? Oh, yes, it was. Perfect. Excellent, in fact. Let's make some more alkali. Yeah. Have I got enough energy to make it? No, I don't. Not even close, actually. Not even close. That's fine. We're starting work on some more of the interesting alchemy. In addition to the enormous amount of... Uh, what we've done with a gold bray. Oh, uh, this is going to be grand. Actually, let me go and see. Have we got any candles? Got some incense. We haven't got any candles, though. That's fine. I'm going to go and shell out the cash needed to buy two, four, six, eight. Okay, that's not going to be an issue. Twelve candles, all we need. Sir, please sell me twelve of your finest candles. I mean, they, don't, they don't actually need to be the finest, though. I'm, I'm happy with yeah, bog-standard candles, actually. Uh, I need to go and grab more bread and bring it over, but that can happen a bit later. Let's prepare everything. Uh, it's going to be good. But once we've got the beehives up and running properly, we're going to be able to make some very nice candles, since the candles we make are generally better. There you go. And there we are. This is going to be an amazing ceremony. <sighs> it is time. Let us prepare ourselves. A lot of work has gone into this. There we are. Let's see. I'd like to say some especially dapper words today. Our church dapperest of all the churches that still exist right now. And now let us pray for this blessing. That's quite a, a nice, hefty amount of faith right there. Oh, so good. So good. Oh, my lord. Your donations are welcome. It was a great sermon. I think so, too. I think we worked hard for it, though. The day didn't start out so well, but we didn't let it get us down. We just, we just cracked on. We did all the things we needed to do. Now we are reaping the fantastical rewards. Oh my lord. I approve. We're so close to gold. Mind you, I still, I'm, I'm like selling a lot of, uh, or rather buying a lot of candles, which does take away from my money, but on the whole, I think we're doing rather well. Yes, indeed. I am extremely pleased with what we've achieved. I'm gonna need more alchemy racks that much is absolutely clear to me but we'll get there i'm gonna i'm gonna carry the don't ask me why i'm gonna go to sleep with blood in my pockets you don't want to know why there are some questions you just shouldn't ask if you get the opportunity to take back the question use that use it straight away you just don't want to know but we're going off to sleep at long last we've got our first gold prayer we've got the the morgue set up much better now down there and we are going to start experimenting with alchemy, proper alchemy, in the next episode. But that is going to be it from me. I do hope you've enjoyed and will be joining me for the next episode. And I hope you enjoyed this uh, longer than usual episode. It's a bit of a bit of a, please forgive me for the few days that it's been since the last one. But that is it for now. So until next time, and as always, to take care, everyone. <laughs>